Oh yeah, this package is, came. This is good. Shaw's really excited. I'm gonna use this. You are. I, mean, I think you should show the world. Yeah, I bought the world's biggest slinky. Oh man, we're gonna break records. Ooh, good technique. Oh my god. It's like shuffling cards. Kinda. Yeah, world's biggest slinky. And? Um, no, it's actually a big exhaust ventilation system. With this fan, I should be able to put this near the exhaust. I don't want to put it on the exhaust because this will definitely melt. Mm -hmm. But if I put it at least somewhere in the area, I could suck up some of the exhaust fumes that are coming out of these vehicles. Especially because what I really want to do is I want to get the good old boy on the dyno. So if I can get a diesel truck on the dyno and not completely soot out the shop. You know, you did get my truck on the dyno about five years ago. That was the last and only truck, I think. First and last truck. Yeah, and, and the shop immediately turned two shades darker after that. Right, that's what so we hear. Yep. That was a big problem. So now with this giant slinky, this is 40 feet, by the way. Oh, that's good. We should be able to fix some of that. All right. It'll not make it perfect, but it'll make it better. So stay tuned for that. We'll get this thing set up and hopefully be able to dyno the good old boy. You know what that sound is? It's back. Oh yeah. Looking pretty neat. Everything's all matching here, you know? The guys at Lox Diesel hooked me up. They got this thing set up. This is the, uh, sinister fuel system with the uh, adrenaline high pressure oil pump and then they sump the fuel tank too so this way we don't have to worry about that stock pickup anymore so we got our fuel system is dialed in now we're ready for the injectors we're not going to do those yet though we're going to try and get this thing on the dyno i want to see how this does this full setup should be pretty much maxing out the stock injectors as far as they can go. We're not going to see any more power than this, so we'll see how that goes. Wake up! <laughs> Jesus, you guys are gay over here sleeping. I got fucking stomach ulcers. My cock's bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, Ruddy went to autocross again. Yeah, I don't care. Okay, he doesn't care. He doesn't care because he's taking control. <laughs> and what place did you get? First place, dude. In what class? <sighs> Turbocharge. And? Uh, all of it. You beat everyone. All of it. One everyone. So, so he went again, beat everyone again. That's twice in a row he's gone out and beat everyone. I will say, though, this dude's talking smack, saying he's going to come and take my trophy next time. Are you? Coming, bro. You're coming? Dude. You know what he did is like equivalent to like playing Call of Duty with a whole bunch of Fortnite players. <laughs> dude, wow. 500 bucks, dude. Bucks? You see it right here, 500 bucks. Not yet. Oh, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Social distancing. My car needs to be track ready, and I need to stay six feet away from your car when we're tracking, at least. That's the rule. Well, you run separately. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> They have it down. They, they have. They have it. Like it's good. It's just, it's that's how you know he's never autocrossed. You yeah. don't race like that. He said autocrossing is like the baby version of real racing. Yeah, that's what I he's saying. I mean, I'll do both. I'll go to the firm. Oh shit! The firm's real. Right? Anyway, <laughs> last time he went, the firm is real. Last time he went, I told him he needed to get one cone for himself and one cone for the shop. So he got this second cone. He brought it here, so it's proudly displayed. In our trophy cabinet. You guys have a lot of trophies. We do have a lot of trophies. I have two of them. I gotta bring them here. Yeah, I was about to say, a lot. most most people take their trophies home. I, I took mine home. I, I thought that's what I was supposed to do. <laughs> these, are, these are like the, we got best of shows, best of shows, best of shows, best, people's best choice, species. best Toyota, wow, wow. king of the streets. We've got them all. So we've been, we've showed out, as you guys know. Oh, We've got show, show, car show history, car show heritage. Yeah. And now we got race car heritage too. There's one trophy that's in there too. You can't see. This was another racing one there. First place and a third place. Those were uh, both at Palm Beach International during a GT class. So I've, I've got a first place trophy for racing on the big course. That's sick. You got a first place trophy for racing on the small course. So you're going to get yourself some more though. I want a first place rally crossing. Ooh. I the, really want a rally crossing. That's the firm. Dude, the MB. Supercharged. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah. Supercharged. Okay, okay. I can get behind that. 
That'll be sweet. That'd be sick. When is that? Oh, I don't know. 2021. Okay. So, <laughs> I don't know. Got to finish out 2020 first. Yeah, exactly. We got to get a bunch of cones. For yeah. That. Yeah. We got to fill this thing up with cones. Yeah. Rudnick <laughs> said that he's, he, he says he's going to make an RC car track out of the cones. Dude. That's, that's a flex. That would be the flex. That's a flex. That's a flex in the house. That is. Sure. Now you got to get, what RC car are you going to run around in? I don't know yet. An expensive one. All right. That's <laughs> good. <laughs> anyway, big thanks to Chris for getting us that trophy again. Oh, yeah. And Joey says he's going to beat you next time, so we'll see how that goes. Bucks. I'm ready. He's ready. He's got money. I'm he's ready. going. You don't even buy the KTM, bro. Dude, 22 is mine. Joey sold my, my KTM. It's gone. Don't ask. I sold my KTM. What, well, you, okay, I sold the KTM to Joey. Joey sold the KTM to someone else. It's gone. It's out of the family now. Yeah. I tried Shaw, to get Joey. You can buy Shaw's. So, buy Shaw's for 22 uh, I'm 1200 bucks. Do you have the money right now? Yes. In your pocket. Yes. Pull it out. Right now. PayPal. Oh, PayPal. No, right? I don't have PayPal. No, cash. I guess you do that. Green or go. Cash get, out, get the hell out of here. You don't get cash? No, no, cash no deal. You see this kid? This guy, you Just guys yell, can't no flex. Deal. No deal. Dude, it's 2020. No one carries hey. cash no more. Poor people don't carry cash no more. He's a 2017 less than 1,000 miles. Dude, 1,200 bucks. Give him 2,200 right now. No. 2,200? It's a good deal. I can't get in on this. I'll tell you what I did get. What? This. That is cool. Saw my giant slinky. So does that mean we can bolt dyno? <laughs> yeah. If it passes the Yeah, test. truck dyno. Mine doesn't really suck. You want to have a truck, truck dyno? Truck, yeah. Tr Chevy's wow. going to beat all of you guys in the truck dyno competition. Hands down. Torque, horsepower. Chevy my truck's suck. beating both We got to have a race. We, we got to re-race. Chevy's suck. Why don't you, well, yeah, truck off. Last time I checked, um... I went easy on you because I know you had been sad. Re-race. Right. Re-race. Re-race. Re oh, oh, man. I'm excited for that. Trucks. So we've got the fuel system upgrades on the good old boy and we're going to set up and do a zero to 60 now and see if there's any change. So bear with me here while I get everything set up. Go to four wheel high, make sure she goes into four wheel. There it is, four wheel drive. All right, we're set here. Let's see what she does. Okay, ready to go. Forgot to put it in my higher power mode. Oops. Let's try that again. Reset. Okay, switch up to four. There we go. Okay, now we're set. Here we go. Start. Going to 
do the injectors soon. That's the next step. So we'll get it on the dyno. We'll see where it's at with the stock injectors maxed out. I'm confident that there's nothing left for these stock injectors to give. If the weather was cooler, it probably would have been a 6.0 or a 5.9 maybe in the zero to 60, but I'm not waiting that long to find out. So it is 96 degrees here currently. Uh, feels like 105, 106. It's super, super hot, humid. So these are the worst conditions possible for for this type of testing. But needless to say, 6.1 is pretty impressive for a 7.3. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. And we're still on the stock injectors. So coming up next is those big 238s. 238 cc with an 80% bigger nozzle. So get ready for that. <laughs> 